Hello guys, what is going on? Alex here and welcome back to another video. This is the first ground hopping video of 2020. It is August, uh, which is absolutely bonkers. Honestly, the past few months without going to football has felt like, to be fair, it's not been as bad as I thought it would have been, but it's felt like forever. Now, because Mr. Boris Johnson has announced that they'll be putting back the football crowds kind of coming into stadiums for another two weeks. I'm probably only going to be doing step seven games up until uh, probably step five and four return. But today I am off to the Fairfield Recreation Ground as Fairfield Villa take on Warstone Wanderers in a pre-season friendly. This is going to be quite an interesting game because obviously either team has played one in about four or five months. Um, so I'm not expecting too much, but it should be good to go and tick off ground 106 today. And as well as that, go and watch a football match because other than the Coventry game last week, the last football match I watched was the one where Sheffield United should have won uh, against Aston Villa. But we'll forget about that. As you can tell, I'm out of breath as well, mainly because I'm walking for a very, very long time. So, uh, yeah, that is that as well. So for people that are new to the channel know that I'm not the biggest fan of buses especially during this time. I was going to bring my bike, but I thought, you know what, let's walk. It's not going to be that bad. Well, I'm walking from Bromsgrove train station all the way up to the ground, which is around about an hour and a half walk. I'm half an hour through. I should get to the ground around about 10 minutes before kickoff. Yeah, literally every time I do this, I end up regretting it, which isn't great. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Big up Fairfield. Just getting uh, into Fairfield now. Look at the view. When I say we're in the middle of nowhere, there's kind of a new house and estate over there. That there is a dental surgery. That. And uh, this is what Fairfield has to offer, I guess. Here we are. Fairfield Recreation Ground. This is a uh, ground 106. So here we are, uh, both teams warming up Warstone over there in the green and Fairfield are there in the yellow and the red. First of all, it's on the ground. It's literally what you'd expect for step seven. Probably a little bit better to be honest. Um, you know, railings around the pitch. Uh, there's a bit of a slope on the pitch, but you know, it's typical for non-league. Also a stand behind me, no seating, but it's a bit of cover and you don't really have that uh, at many grounds at this level. So quite a unique view to be honest of this ground, just mainly in that corner you've got the church and then a, a kids play area as well uh, and I believe that there is a school so quite nice views and obviously the trees that go around the pitch as well. In terms of Covid-19 and the track and trace, uh, when I did turn up they did ask for my name and my phone number um, which obviously is probably what's going to happen at most clubs from now on, um, you know making sure that they've got the right details so just in case anyone does come up with covid and then i'd probably have to self-isolate for two weeks which wouldn't be great but yeah uh, at least clubs are doing that i guess that's why a lot of clubs aren't welcoming spectators even at step seven uh, just so they don't have that risk right both teams are on the pitch i don't think they're doing the, the shaking hands thing mainly because of COVID, yeah, that makes, that makes perfect sense. Uh, Fairfield Villa in the yellow and red on the left side, and Warstone Wanderers in the green and black on the right side. For score predictions, I'm probably going to go with Fairfield win. I'm not going to pick out a score because I really don't know which team have been training the most. They've just got more players, they seem a little bit more organized when they were warming up as well. But I could be wrong, I don't really want to put organization over quality. It's just how much I know of both teams is how they warmed up in the 20 minutes I was here. About 10 minutes played, relocated to the, the stand end because it's way too windy down there. Both teams have looked lively and either team have really had a, a good enough chance. Um, and yeah, the highlight of the game was probably the, the ball being changed. Well, 
Well, the uh, Fairfield have scored. Number nine from outside the box hits it with his right foot, goes top right corner. Yeah, that's that's typical me. Record every chance which is not going in, and then you know, the, when I'm not watching a game for ten seconds, oh yeah, just finesse shot, top right corner, goal. Fairfield taking the lead. I think it's probably their only good chance of the game. Uh, Warstone have had a couple corners, but other than that, they've not really got into the game either. About 20 minutes in, 1 0 to Fairfield Villa. Ball. Yeah, that's probably one annoying thing about one bit of the goal just being trees because. Every time you shoot and you miss it, it's pretty much going in trees and you need another ball. Corner to Fairfield. Ah, poor cross. Ah, I've missed seeing dogs at football. Well, uh, this is the, the first drinks break. You know, it's a, a tradition in my pre-season videos of the, the drinks breaks. Here's the first one. So, uh, yeah, pure entertainment as always. And after about, well, it feels like 20 minutes, the, uh, the drinks break is over and we are back. Well, uh, Fairfield have just scored from about there. Uh, the keeper was off his line, he, well, he was, he, he was pretty much just outside the box and the Fairfield player hits it with his right foot, bounces a couple of times and then bounces up, hits just near the crossbar and goes in, 2-0 to Fairfield Villa. I mean both goals have been very good and uh, as I said they, they did seem a little bit organised, that, that goal was probably a little bit of a fluke but at the same time, I don't know, I think Fairfield have just played a little bit better together as a team. Um, as Warstone have, have, I don't know, more just been playing, trying to play the ball over the top. Maybe it's because of the pitch, I don't know. But yeah, 2-0 to Fairfield. Yes! Go on. Good run through. and oh. Maybe he should have squared it. But you know, so should have Harry Kane. Here you are. Uh, looks like there's a free kick to Fairfield. Got myself a, a seat behind the goal. Packet of mini cheddars. Not sponsored. Here we go, free kick to Warstone. Number 11 was fouled just outside the box. I mean, to be honest, it did look like a penalty, but free kick to Warstone. Oh, easy save by the goalkeeper. To be fair, Fairfield's goalie has probably been one of the standout players in the first half. Time, it's uh, Fairfield Villa 2, Warstone Wanderers 0. So my thoughts on the first half, Fairfield uh, didn't really start too well, they got a goal and I think that really brought in a little bit more of momentum. Warstone were just a little bit, I don't know, not very organised, uh, but they kind of just came forward with pace and tried to nerve the Fairfield defence, which they didn't do too well to be fair. The goalkeeper's been very composed and played really, really well for Fairfield. He's probably been my man of the match as well as the number nine, who I believe has got both goals for Fairfield. So yeah, 2 0 Fairfield half time. Second half, I think Fairfield are going to make the most changes because they've got the most players. I don't know whether that's a positive thing or a negative thing. Um, I think Warstone may change goalkeeper. Looks like they've got two. Um, but they've probably only got a couple of substitutions that they can make. Um, it all depends on the player's fitness, etc. So you could see quite a few goals in the second half. But yeah, 2 0 at half time here at the recreation ground. Yeah, uh, half time uh, observation. I think Dr. Football are actually good in fashion. There's another two. One over there as well. Bloody hell. It's not like they've not even come for a football game, it's just a dog walking event. And the second half is underway. Just have to admire the absolute hill that the goal is on. You probably can't see it. We try and get a better view. Ball goes in, that's gone. But yeah, Wallstone have just had a really good chance. Uh, cleared off the line from Fairfield defender. Now Fairfield are coming forward. Wallstone, to be fair to them, have looked a lot better in the second half. Villa 3 0 now. Um, that number seven says he's come on. He looked very rapid at the start with the ball, and then he's just you know scored a sweaty goal and done a gamble. So, uh, yeah, 3 0 Fairfield Villa. Very oh, unlucky on the goalkeeper. 4 0 Fairfield Villa. Good run down the left hand side. By the way, that was about 10 minutes after the goal before, just absolutely nothing happened. We are free kicks up our field now. Oh, well, uh, all 
Stone have scored. It looked like uh, the Fairfield keep had it in both hands, and it, I don't know, he just kind of lost control of it, and the Warstone player comes through, hits it with his right foot into an empty net. 4-1. Of course, we can't go without mentioning uh, drinks break number two. I'll be honest, I regret not bringing a jacket today because it's so windy and freezing. It was like a mini heat wave yesterday, but I wouldn't know because I was at work all day. Pretty sure I'd still be cold in a ski jacket here yesterday. Bloody hell, it was like 37 degrees. Clear. Great pass as well to So there's about 10-15 minutes left to go, still 4-1 to Fairfield. Um, nothing much has really happened other than the free kick. Wallstone have started to put on a little bit more pressure. I think Fairfield's defence is a little bit tired. Uh, update from me, I'm absolutely freezing. Wallstone have got 10. Oh, post. Oh, and he's cleared it. Didn't see what happened, but uh, quickly just ran from there to here and then from to this, which is great. So yeah, Wallstone on the attack again. Through this time. Oh, sits off the side of the post. Oh, Vanessa, son of a ball gun. Three minutes left. It looks like the Warstone are going to go down to 10 men. I don't think they're going to make a sub. One of their players looks like they're coming off, but it doesn't look like anyone's coming on. Uh, it's one of their centre halves as well. So, I don't know. He made a really, really good run forward, and then he just looks like he's injured his knee. But yeah, still 4 1 to Fairfield. The game's pretty much over now. As I've said, it's absolutely freezing. Um, like I say it's freezing. It's just too windy. If you guys remember, you can probably if you've you know been on this channel for way too long, I went to Skegness Town once and it, it ended 7-1. It was a great game, but it was windy the whole game. Um, and this ground's really weird. Like on three sides, the one where the stand isn't, um, it's really really windy. But this side's probably the the part where it's not very windy. And yes, I haven't done a video for four months, and the first one back, I spend a minute talking about wind. That's brilliant. Oh, what a goal. Even with 10 men, Warstone get a goal. 4-2. Excellent finish. Full time here at the Fairfield Recreation Ground. Fairfield Villa 4, Warstone Wanderers 2. Uh, to be honest, I think both teams had really, really good games. You could tell Fairfield have probably been together a little bit longer. Uh, and you can say they had more players as well. They both had little stints. Um, but yeah, first two goals in the first half coming from Fairfield were quite good, both from outside the box. Uh, and then second half, it looked like near the start, Fairfield were just going to dominate. Warstone got a goal back, which to be honest was a little bit jammy. Um, and difficult for the goalkeeper to control that. And the second goal was an excellent finish by Warstone to cap things off. But yeah, um, very, very happy to be back at non-league. Hopefully next week um, I'll find another game. But I'm really struggling to find some at the moment that are uh, allowing fans to bring in. So yeah, I'd say Fairfield's a nice place. Graham was very nice. We know it's on top of a hill and it's windy. But then, let's be honest, the, the only two shops in the town are a hair salon, which is closed, and a post office, which is also closed. So yeah, I'm going to make my way back now. If you have enjoyed this video, uh, please do show your support by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. As always, it is massively appreciated, and I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye.